What's going on guys? Welcome to Raft. You guys just saw the trailer. The trailer is really cool. So this game is actually free to play right now on itch.io. If you guys want to check it out, I'll leave a link in the description down below. You guys can obviously join the development team and get into the hype when this game does come out. I thought I guess, uh, I'd show you guys the trailer because the game doesn't have too much crazy notice around it, but I thought I would give it some kind of support. The trailer has about 15,000 views right now, and I would love for it to obviously have more. Uh, and, and as well as just, again, to promote the game, to get you guys interested in the game and maybe join in the development cycle and help the devs make a great game for us. So it is going to be multiplayer when it releases. Right now that you're watching is not multiplayer. I'm playing single player. There is a mod for multiplayer, but it is a little glitchy and buggy. Uh, so the development on this portion of the game is completely disabled. Like they're not developing this portion of the game anymore. Uh, but they are going to continue to obviously work on the normal Steam game uh, and release it with you uh, to you guys pretty soon. So I'm just going to figure out what I need here to actually make rope. I'm pretty sure we just get rope, don't we? We can make a building hammer. We might as well build a, bu build a building hammer. So foundations, we also need rope. So how does one craft a rope? I'm pretty sure you craft rope with... Yep, these branches right here. And then let's just go ahead and create some foundations right away. So you can see the building mechanics are pretty fun. Pretty simple, pretty fun. Actually, I don't even need to use the hook to get all that. We need to get as much rope as possible. I'm going to build quite a base. I'm going to be sure to try to get most of the game finished. There is probably about 40 minutes worth of content in this game right now. Uh, but on release, you saw that the, the raft is actually going to float around. Sharks are going to be attacking. You're going to be able to jump into the water for most of your loot. And then obviously the, the fact of playing multiplayer is going to be really sweet. I kind of hope they go to a stranded deep style and possibly like maybe do so you can actually like get your boat and move it around and bring it from point A to point B and discover new islands and uh, just like br bring it on to like subnautica level style stuff do like primitive looking submarines and stuff and go underwater and explore new horizons and procedural generation there's so much cool stuff that you can do with a concept like this and i think taking oh stay away from me i don't like you you smell like you smell like a shark because you are a shark but i think there's just so much concept that could go into this to make it extremely extremely fun so let's create more rope Let's go ahead and create our foundations. We need to get more of this stuff. Give it here. Give it here. We can create nets as well to catch some of this stuff for us. And then once it catches the stuff, we can pick it up, which is really nice. I do kind of want to... I, I wonder if you can kill the shark. I know it like attacks your rafter every once in a while, and you need to create a spear in order to kill it. Right now, I don't have enough for a spear, which is kind of scary because if the shark attacks, he could take down a foundation, which is not what I want him to do. It looks like he's kind of mad right now. He looks mad. He looks mad. Ah, <sighs> well. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. No, leave my foundation alone. Quit it. What an asshole. We need more wood. Come on, wood. Touch that. Touch that hook. Touch that hook. There we go. And we're low on water. Uh-oh. So we need to start cooking. Water purifier. Boom. And then we need these... I believe it's like a can or something. Right here. Empty tin can. Fill with water. We're going to cook that right there, and that's going to increase our water. That way we can boil the salt water down, which doesn't make too much sense. But I guess it is a water purifier. I mean, in, in real life, there are ways to purify salt water. It's just extremely, extremely expensive. That's why most of the human race doesn't do it. Yep. Let's see if we can get a we can get a twofer. Get that wood. Boop. Oh, and I completely missed. Wow, I only got a piece of wood out of all that. I stink. Let's give it another throw. So we need to make sure we just have water going at all times. We should probably figure out our food situation now, too. Let's get a little bit more rope crafted. There we go. And let's go ahead and... Uh, what was I doing? We need a grill. Nice cooking station. Um, yeah, We need more tin. We need more iron. Is this done? Because I need to drink it. That was a good blind throw right there. Jeez, look at me. Let's just keep getting that cooking. 
craft a cooking station. We go get a nice cooking station. And uh, we need to fish a little bit, so let's get our fishing rod going. Fishing rod, what do you need? You need a little bit more wood. Give me this here. Hurry up, water. I'm not really keeping up with the water too well. We might need to create another thing to craft water. A standing lantern, that would actually be pretty nice. I think nighttime does roll around in this game. As you can see, it is starting to get quite dark. How do we create nails, anyway? Just metal. Okay. So I need to start getting some nets going. I'm gonna return a little bit once my uh, whole boat is like really up and running and really cool. I'm just gonna keep on grinding out some of this wood and some of this metal and stuff. See you guys in a little bit. Ah, so the sun is down. Things are nice. Everything's going well. Our food's not that great. Water's not that great. I've started to build this little bridge here in order to get ourselves uh, a nice little, like, outlet to catch all the stuff, like, going underneath us because we do need to make these nets here. Once we make these nets, it's going to start catching stuff for us. And I feel like it's kind of a missed opportunity to not have these nets set up. Like, right there, I just caught two thatch and some scrap right off the bat. Wow, it's getting dark. Let's get one of those lanterns up. Let's make a tin can. And let's get this lantern. Let's go ahead and place that. Can we place this, like, in the corner? Place it, like, here. That's a nice spot. There we go. Everything's nice and hunky-dory now. We need all of this. Give me all of this. I need this for rope. Need all that for rope. So we can continue to create... Um, what we're trying to create. Oh god. We got a barrel coming. Barrels give us a whole bunch of stuff. We got a raw beet. What? That's cool. We got some potatoes. Quit, quit coughing. Oops. Quit your coughing. I'm trying to keep up with the water situation. It's not easy. And I'm trying to keep up with building up the base as quickly as possible. So the ideal situation here would be able to stretch out these nets as far as the eye could see. And if you stretch out the nets as far as the eye could see, you'd, you'd catch everything floating by, but it seems like I'm not having too much luck with that right now. We're also getting mad hungry. We actually have a nice raw beet, which I think I should cook, right? It says I can cook it. Cook it! Oh, we got a nice tasty beet on the campfire. Yum yum. I absolutely hate beets in real life, by the way. My dad loves them. My dad eats canned beets. <laughs> and uh, I'd honestly rather eat uh, diarrhea. <laughs> I just don't really like them whatsoever. And uh, honestly, I don't really like them in video games either. I don't want to eat this beet, but I guess I have to at some point, don't I? I'm just going to make sure my water keeps filling up. Look at all the goodies. Come to me, goodies. Come. Come join me. Join me on this adventure. So I'm going to extend this out two more. I wish there was a way to, like, delete this, maybe. But it doesn't seem like I'm going to have any way to delete it, which stinks. Uh-oh. Uh, do we have the means to make a spear? Spear! Shark's attacking! Quickly! Onwards! Craft! Get off my boat! Actually, wait! Oh, I got hurt there. Ouch. I was going to say, actually, wait, I don't want to have... I don't want to kill him because he's actually destroying the foundation that I wanted. Thank you, shark. I needed that foundation broken. That worked perfectly. Let's go ahead and eat this. Mmm, yum, yum. Let's get these potatoes on. Potatoes are much necessary. Many wows. Put those on. And we should be able to create some more nets. We're starting to, like, really pick up on the gear that we have. Pretty sure I'm going to start building a second floor soon and expanding it this way. Ooh, look at all these goodies getting by. I wish I had a net out there. Maybe we can get as many. Ready? Boop, 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 boop. We got four right there. That's nice. Let's go for that metal. Oh, hook, line, and sink them. Got everything. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job, hook. They call me the hooker. All right. Now that my nets are pretty much completed, I'm about to craft the last one here. We really, I think, need to set up a grow-op. We, we don't have what it takes right now 
to survive. Our food is dropping way too quickly. So we're going to create a farm. I got some palm seeds. Uh, I assume that grows palm trees. I would love to be able to like plant a potato or something. We need to get lucky with another barrel. Barrels is how you, in this game, get uh, those different types of items. But I think I need to start getting a little bit of fish. We're going to start fishing here in a second. I need a few more palm fronds. We got some scrap in there. We got some planks in there. Some more planks in there. I do want to expand this out a little farther eventually. Come here. I need rope. All the rope I can get. Oh, no. Oh, two barrels. Two barrels. What are they going to have? They better have some goodies for me. I need all the goodies. I need all the goodies. Give me the goodies. Uh, palm seeds. I kind of need potatoes and beets because you can plant them. My problem is I got so hungry I needed to eat them. And now we're kind of in a situation where we shouldn't have and we should have planted them and doubled our outtake. There we go. We got a beet so we can grow some beets. Boop. Perfect. There we go. We got some planks. Eh, that doesn't really help me too much. Let's craft all these ropes. Nice little chair. And let's grab our nice little fishing rod. Okay, so now it's time to start fishing. I'm going to try to catch the big one out there. Not sure how fishing works, but we're about to find out. Come on. Hey, you got a raw mackerel. Holy mackerel, we got a raw mackerel. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it seems like we're pretty much just going to get raw mackerels. I'm going to cook that on the fire. Make sure this water keeps going. Let's collect all of our net items. Don't let this barrel go by. Like I said, I want to extend out our wings on our boat to make sure we don't miss anything. There we go, we got a potato. Yo, stay away! I have a spirit, it pokes! See? Ha! Poke your eyes out. It's just a flesh wound. There we go. And I need this mackerel pretty bad. We're getting, we're starting to get quite hungry. Give me that. Oh, I missed. That was a little baby throw. That was a little, little baby throw. Come on, mackerel. You're taking forever. Thank you. Cooked mackerel. What's, what's that going to give us? Oh, that's really got us going. We can just slap. Oh, I just ate a raw mackerel. No, stay away. I need that. I need that where it is. Poke your eyes out. Thank you. Get out of here. All right, let's start working on like a grow up, a building. Like we're gonna, we're gonna extend the base out just a few more foundations. We have so much rope and stuff or we can start to have so much rope. Let's grab our building hammer and let's build it out a tad. All right, so it's time to get our nice little growing operation up and running. So we can add this, this little crop plant here. Let's plant some potatoes. Can we plant some beets in here as well? So we can actually get multiple things planted in there. You can actually you can see them growing. Look, they're growing. We're actually going to need all this food. I can also fish from the top deck because I do need some more mackerels to hold me over while these beets and potatoes grow. We also have a barrel coming in. Look at that. We're on the top floor right now, building the top floor at least. I, uh, I kind of like having this nice little cover over my head. Just in case it rains, you know, you got to keep warm, make sure everything's nice and hunky-dory. There we go. We got another raw potato. Let's go plant that upstairs real quick. Actually, it only grows three at a time. It's good to know. We're starving. We're thirsty. Things are struggling. I kind of want to get some more water going. I wish these things weren't here, though. Maybe a way to remove them would be really nice. Because I'd like to, like, move them under here instead of being out here in the way of all this stuff that I'm trying to gather. This mackerel is going to take forever to cook, even though we need food. I also want to get some trees growing so we don't even have to go for plants. But what we need is a whole bunch of nails, which takes a lot of metal. And then we need a ton of rope on top of that, which is also something we don't have. Eat that up. I think we need to just fish again. Let's grab our fishing rod. Funk. I just want to make sure there's always water and like something cooking. Because if there isn't, we're going to starve. And we're going to, we're going to die. And dying isn't an option. Me and my volleyball will survive forever. 
Okay? Forever. So if you guys didn't know, I now have this tree thing. Uh, if you guys didn't know, it's going to be multiplayer. I don't I really don't remember if I mentioned it before, but it's going to be multiplayer. If you guys have any ideas on who I should play with, or uh, if you guys are looking, even looking forward to playing this game or seeing this game on my channel, get off my net. I need that. You bastard. Get back here. Get back here. I'll poke your eye out. I just didn't hear him. Oh, look at that moon. So beautiful. So fresh. So clean. Ooh, some mackerel. Have a nice sunset lit dinner. A nice cup of water. Again, we need to make sure here that we always have a mackerel cooking. Everything's nice and easy. We have a tree growing. We have plants growing. Uh, now all we really need is a table and chairs to eat our food at. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's create our table and chairs. It's completely necessary items in this game. Is the table and chairs, so. We're gonna go upstairs and set up a nice little... Well, let's put it right here in this corner. This is a nice little corner. So let's get our nice chair. Our nice table. There we go. We'll put it right on the corner. That way we can watch the moon go down. Look at that. Nice and perfect. Everything's cool. We can actually harvest. The harvest is here! Let's replant some beets. We can actually cook some beets as well now too. Alright, so you guys kind of get the gist of the game. I pretty much have now done everything that there is to do in the game. I've shown you every single mechanic. We can craft a hatchet and chop down that tree once it grows, but past that, we have pretty much done everything. We're going to light up the upstairs just a tad. Because it is quite dark up there. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. I will see you guys in the next one once the game releases. If you guys are hyped for it, leave a like on the video. Also subscribe if you're new here. Be sure to swing by and check out when this game releases. I'll be sure to be posting many of episodes when it does. As long as the game maintains some relatively entertaining content for a, uh, a long period of time. See you guys in the next one, and have a great day.